Welcome back to the Hammersmith DIY channel. In today's product review video, we're going to be talking to you about window canopies, post molds, and rosettes. Let's roll the intro. Now don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hammersmith DIY. You can hit the link below. And then also remember to turn on the bell notification so you can receive updates when new videos land. Now here we have some products that we sell. We've got some window canopies and uh, post molds. So I wanted to talk to you about this range of products. There's a few different items here. They're not necessarily related, but they, they still all are exterior grade products uh, for use obviously outside the home. Uh, and with any outside product, they're designed in a, a radiator pine um, and are treated uh, for use um, so that you don't have rot and decay. Uh, but like any outside product, it's important that you paint these products. So make sure when you install them, give them a few good coats of paint, and then over time as they weather, you wanna make sure you recoat those paint. Otherwise, uh, over time, potentially the product will uh, decay. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Here we have a range of post molds that we produce. Now, what is a post mold? A post mold basically is something that would be used on a veranda post or porch post uh, as, a, as a decorative feature. Um, so we have uh, two ready made up um, post molds. This one here suits a 115 by 115 post and this particular one here suits a, a 90 by 90 post. And the way these would actually work is during the installation of a, of a veranda uh, or, or porch where you're wanting to put some posts up, you would actually uh, as you're going to be putting the post up, you would take one of these items, slide them over the post, then you'd obviously finish the construction of the post, and then what you would come back and do is actually fix this in place. So typically the way this would actually operate um, in, a, in a veranda type scenario is you would have this positioned towards the top of the post, um, but it's really just a decorative molding that goes around the post. It doesn't serve any real purpose. It said purely, purely decorative. And one thing which actually doesn't look too bad, using something like a, a veranda bracket here, uh, if you imagine this being your, your veranda post and this is your post mold in place, you can take your bracket like so, uh, and obviously that would come down. You've got your fascia, and it's just a, a nice way of finishing off the bottom of the bracket, just an example. But even on its own, it doesn't actually look, look too bad. So that's the 90 mil one. Uh, in terms of fixing that, um, I would just recommend you'd want some sort of screw or nail to hold it in place. And then you can see here, if you look, there's a little bit of a gap depending on how big your posts are. Once you've got the thing securely in place, then obviously you can just use a bit of a, a no more gaps because you don't want water coming down there. You want to make sure the water runs off. And the 115 mil is, is very similar, same sort of thing drop that over your post uh, and it's the same principle. Actually, you can see here in the manufacturing process here, what we've actually done is used a little uh, special plastic key um, to, um, we, to actually hold these four um, pieces of mold together. Um, and this is how the product is actually sold to you. So you, when you buy it, this is actually how you get it. If um, you uh, have an existing um, uh, structure post and you don't have the opportunity to slide this down over during the construction process what we sell is we also sell the molding itself if you have a look on the end of the mold here you can see the see the profile um, and what you would do is when we we sell this as a, a piece one piece like this this one piece will be enough to construct uh, a capital uh, like one of the bigger designs or one of the smaller designs. And obviously what you would do is you would uh, you know, measure your post, you're gonna mark out your mitres you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to cut the angles, and then you're gonna have to fit it around the post. Unfortunately, because you're gonna be doing it like that with nail and glue and that sort of thing, you're not gonna get the really solid fitting that we have here with these special plastic keys. But providing you do the right, uh, you know, good, do a good job and make sure it's securely held in place, you should find that uh, that holds pretty nicely onto your post. Here are three different rosettes that we produce. Now these rosettes are all decorative. They serve no purpose other than a decoration on a home to, to make a, an old 1900s house or a reproduction version of it look, uh, look nice. There are, there are three different sizes. Uh, there's one here that is 175 millimeters in diameter. That's the, the big one here. There's a small one we produce which is 80 mil in diameter. 
And then there is a medium sized one that we produce is 110 mil in diameter. As you can see, they're, they're quite thin. You may notice that the timber uh, we're using these is slightly different. It's actually um, European beech. And the reason we've done that is it actually machines better for us. So uh, if they, it's still treated, so there's no issues from that point of view. But just from a machining point of view, we, we've always found that the beach is a, is, a, is a nicer product. And these really just are a decorative item. So, you know, for example, if you had yourself a 90 mil post, you could put this on the front of the post like so. Um, you could imagine maybe you have a, a post mold there and that goes underneath. There's lots of different options of, of, of decorating items could look good on a fence post also the real big ones here they actually tend to be used more on a a, a gable scenario where you have a, a the gable of a home and you have the the fascia board coming down and sometimes on the end of the fascia board you, you would plant this on the the fascia board once again just as a as a decorative means so that's our range of uh, rosettes that we produce here in front of me we have our window canopies that we produce so a window canopy as it would suggest, is a, is a method of protecting a window in a home. So on an old style home, what was quite commonly done was you would have this style of canopy that would be mounted to the wall of the home. So for example, if we take this particular canopy, if this is our wall here, you would mounting it to your wall and then you would have your uh, galvanized sheeting that which would come off the front of that. So you'd obviously have one on one, if this was your window here, you'd have one on one side of the window, one on the other, and then by having the galvanized sheeting across the top, obviously that what, what that's going to do is protect, protect your window. So it served the purpose, uh, served the purpose of actually providing uh, protection from the rain, but then also in summer, what it provided was protection from the sun. And so it was very much a decorative means. These were very popular on Queensland style homes and also villas and, and, and Victorian style homes throughout Australia. What we did was we produced two different designs. Uh, the one you just see here is what we call the Federation canopy. It's got this quite nice bracket in the corner with some slats and, and the angle of the canopy here. And then the other one we refer to as the, the bungalow canopy. In all honesty, they're just names we've given them. They're not designed to, yes, you have to use this one on a Federation style home and this one must be used on a bungalow style home. It, it doesn't matter at all. It's really just names that, I, that we've given the product. And once again, so this is the, this is the bungalow side canopy here uh, that you can see. So what you would do obviously is when you, uh, if you're interested in these products through our website, which is hammersmith.com.au, um, most windows, you would obviously, we need a minimum of two, clearly. So you would have a, one on either side of the window. So when we sell them, you're buying a, a canopy side on its own. So you would purchase two to cover one window. And the other thing that's important to note is we do get quite a few questions from people about um, the other parts of the canopy because this is clearly just the side of the canopy. This is the bit that you're mounting to the house. You've also got the beam that goes across the front, one that comes across the back, and then the sheeting itself. They're all things that you can buy from your local hardware store. They're not overly difficult. This is the product which obviously you wouldn't be able to just find anywhere, so hence why we, we produce it. Um, we should make note that when we actually manufacture this product, uh, all the screws and nails that we use are all galvanized. And the, it's hard to see here, but the actual, um, the actual uh, if you get a close up look, maybe you can see around here, we actually trench out a little a rebate and these slot in place. So it's, it's really high quality product, this particular canopy. We, we didn't skimp on it. It's a really important item on a home. Um, it's not structural, but obviously uh, it's something that when you're wanting to fix this to your house, uh, you wanna make sure that it's gonna be lasting, lasting the time. So hence why we've taken the extra effort to produce a really uh, a fine looking product. If you like what you see in this video, please remember to hit the like button and don't feel afraid to drop a comment. I'm always happy to answer any questions you may have about any of the products you see in this video. Also, clearly remember to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and uh, just hit the button below, which is the Hammersmith DIY channel. And don't forget to uh, also click the bell notification so that you get notified when new videos land. This is Wyatt Groth, signing off. Mm -hmm.